Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to create a macro that will export all the sheets of your workbook as a PDF. So saving sheets as a PDF is common practice for distributing reports. But what if you have a workbook with multiple sheets that you need to export? This can become quite a repetitive process and we want to look at how we can create a macro that will automate this or at least greatly speed it up. So we've got these six sheets in this file that for us right now are just some example sheets that we're imagining we need to export. And I already have a macro with VBA code written to perform this task it's just a case in this video to have an opportunity to walk through it. So let me click the developer tab on my ribbon and the visual basic button to investigate. And this is what we have. So this is our sub procedure as it would be known. Now all the code we have here can be found using a link in the description of this video. If you click the link I have a blog post where this code can be copied and pasted and adapted to your needs. It's just some basic code to get the job done here, which you can quite happily expand upon. I just want to spend a minute or two just explaining some of the finer elements of it uh, for anyone where this some of this code may be brand new to you, depending on your current experience and, I guess, uh, VBA skill levels. But I've just got a a couple of variables set up here one which is got the string here for the uh, for the path that we're looking at saving these PDFs to and the other one which is just an integer sorry an integer even <laughs> which is used for our loop and we can see this stuff further down now I don't know if you're familiar with this but this is the make directory function so we've got this folder path string which I'm just using my desktop here as a location PDFs desktop uh, it's creating a PDFs folder so make directory folder path using this variable creates a new folder called PDFs to my desktop so you can expand on this by using input boxes or displaying dialog boxes or you know, maybe capturing a new folder in a different way to what I've done here but this gets that PDFs folder and then we have a loop, a for loop here, for next loop that uses that variable to go from sheet 1 to the end of the worksheets for total worksheets. Once again you can tweak this if you wish, if you need to start from sheet 2 or start from sheet 3 and end at 6, you know there's a specific range of sheets that you want to export you can tweak this for your needs this code currently does all sheets and here we go we've got the uh, the worksheets object using the current sheet from the loop and this is the magic really the export as fixed format method that is what is producing the PDF export some arguments for it the type is specified as PDF the file name is using the variable folder path and the ampersand concatenates onto it the name of the sheet. So I've used the name of each worksheet as the name for the PDF here. Uh, this can be once again this can be adapted for your needs if you want to try and use something different we can do that folder path ensuring it's saved in the directory that was created earlier and I've also used the open after publish here which I've said no don't open these PDFs when the macro has completed uh, its run. You can quite happily say that, change that to true if you will, and a message box to confirm if this has worked successfully. So that's the example code here. Just to repeat, you can get a link in the description of this video to find this code so you can take it, you can adapt it. If you need to boost your VBA skills, I'm going to have a link to our online course in the description of this video as well. But hopefully this is the kind of stuff you're after if you're looking for this as an export as PDF macro. All that's left for me to do, I guess, is to give it a quick trial run. 
If I press my play button, my run sub user form button in this editor, that will run through that code. And here's the completed message box to confirm this work. Okay. I don't want to take you into my directory to show that. It's, it's quite messy. <laughs> but that's my me message to say that the PDFs have successfully exported. Uh, please take this code, adapt, test it out yourself, and uh, use it for your own requirements or as a, a way of learning and boosting your VBA skills. Thank you for now. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargon.com.